Next, we will find the cosine and sine at an angle of 30 degrees or pi divided by 6. To do this, we will first draw a triangle inside a circle with one side at an angle of 30 degrees and another at an angle of negative 30 degrees. If the resulting two right triangles are combined into one large triangle, notice that all three angles of this larger triangle will be 60 degrees. Since all the angles are equal, the sides will all be equal as well. The vertical line has length 2y, and since the sides are all equal, we can conclude that 2y equals r, or y equals r divided by 2. Using this, we can find the sine value. Sine of pi divided by 6 equals y over r equals half. Using the Pythagorean identity, we can find the cosine value. Cosine squared of pi divided by 6 plus sine squared of pi divided by 6 equals 1. Cosine squared of pi divided by 6 plus half squared equals 1. Cosine squared of pi divided by 6 equals 3 fourths. Cosine of pi divided by 6 equals the square root of 3 fourths equals the square root of 3 divided by 2. The x and y coordinates for the port for the point on a circle of radius 1 at an angle of 30 degrees are square root of 3 divided by 2 in half. By drawing a triangle inside the unit circle with a 30 degree angle and reflecting it over the line y equals x, we can find the cosine and sine for 60 degrees, or pi divided by 3, without any additional work. By the symmetry, we can see the coordinates of the point on the unit circle at an angle of 60 degrees will be half and square root of 3 divided by 2, giving cosine of pi divided by 3 equals half and sine of pi divided by 3 equals square root of 3 divided by 2. We have now found the cosine and sine values for all the commonly encountered angles in the first quadrant of the unit circle. For any given angle in the first quadrant, there will be an angle in another quadrant with the same sign value and yet another angle in yet another quadrant with the same cosine value. Since the sine value is the y coordinate on the unit circle, the other angle with the same sign will share the same y value but have the opposite x value. Likewise, the angle with the same cosine will share the same x value but have the opposite y value. As shown here, angle alpha has the same sine value as angle theta. The cosine values would be opposites. The angle beta has the same cosine value as the angle theta. The sine values will, would be opposites. Sine of theta equals sine of alpha and cosine of theta equals negative cosine of alpha. Sine of theta equals negative sine of beta and cosine of theta equals cosine of beta. It is important to notice the relationship between the angles. If from the angle you measured the smallest angle to the horizontal axis, all would have the same measure in absolute value. We say that all these angles have a reference angle of theta. Reference angle. An angle's reference angle is the size of the smallest angle to the horizontal axis. A reference angle is always an angle between 0 and 90 degrees or 0 and pi divided by 2 radians. Angles share the same cosine and sine values as their reference angles except for sines, positive or negative, which can be determined from the quadrant of the angle. Example 5. Find the reference angle of 150 degrees. Use it to find cosine of 150 degrees and sine of 150 degrees. 150 degrees is located in the second quadrant. It is 30 degrees short of the horizontal axis at 180 degrees, so the reference angle is 30 degrees. This tells us that 150 degrees has the same sine and cosine value as 30 degrees, except for sine. We know that sine of 30 degrees equals half and cosine of 30 degrees equals square root of 3 divided by 2. Since 150 degrees is in the second quadrant, the x-coordinate of the point on the circle would be negative, so the cosine value will be negative. The y-coordinate is positive, so the sine value will be positive. Sine of 150 degrees equals half, and cosine of 150 degrees equals negative, square root of 3 divided by 2. The x-y-coordinates for the point on a unit circle at an angle of 150 degrees are negative square root of 3 divided by 2 and half. 
Using symmetry and reference angles, we can fill in cosine and sine values at the rest of the special angles on the unit circle. Take time to learn the x to y coordinates of all the major angles in the first quadrant. Example 6. Find the coordinates of the point on a circle of radius 12 at an angle of 7 pi divided by 6. Note that this angle is in the third quadrant where both x and y are negative. Keeping this in mind, we can help you check your sines of the sine and cosine function. x equals 12 cosine of 7 pi divided by 6 equals 12. Multiply by negative square root of 3 divided by 2 equals negative 6 multiplied by square root of 3. y equals 12 sine of 7 pi divided by 6 equals 12 multiplied by negative half equals negative 6. The coordinates of the point are negative 6 square root 3 and negative 6. Example 7. We now have the tools to return to the sailboat question posed at the beginning of this section. A distress signal is sent from a sailboat during a storm, but the transmission is unclear and the rescue boat sitting at the marina cannot determine the sailboat's location. Using high-powered radar, they determine the distress signal is coming from a point 20 miles away at an angle of 225 degrees from the marina. How many miles east-west and north-south of the rescue boat is the stranded sailboat? We can now answer the question by finding the coordinates of the point on a circle with a radius of 20 miles at an angle of 225 degrees. X equals 20 cosine of 225 degrees equals 20 multiplied by negative square root of 2 divided by 2 which is approximately negative 14.142 miles. Y equals 20 sine of 225 degrees equals negative 20 multiplied by negative square root of 2 divided by 2 is approximately negative 14.142 miles. The sailboat is located 14.142 miles west and 14.142 miles south of the marina. The special values of sine and cosine in the first quadrant are very useful to know since knowing them allows you to quickly evaluate the sine and cosine of very common angles without needing to look at a reference or use your calculator. However, scenarios do come up where we need to know the sine and cosine of other angles. To find the cosine and sine of any other angle, we turn to a computer or calculator. Be aware. Most calculators can be set into degree or radian mode, which tells the calculator the units for the input value. When you evaluate cosine of 30 on your calculator, it will evaluate it as a cosine of 30 degrees if the calculator is in degree mode, or the cosine of 30 radians if the calculator is in radian mode. Most computer software with cosine and sine functions only operate in radian mode. Example 8. Evaluate the cosine of 20 degrees using a calculator or computer.